Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my new computer build. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to build a website and have everything all in one place, you should check out Squarespace. I'll be talking more about them in the end of the video. Um, over the past few months, I've been trying to put together a new PC. This is my first time building my own PC. My dad used to build them for us when we were kids, and it was kind of cool learning about all the parts myself this time. And Steven and his friend helped me put it together in the end. So I thought I'd show you guys the process of it in case you were wondering about how difficult it would be to build your own PC. So I think I said this in my last video, but I wanted to build a PC because I've been a Mac user for a while now and even though I love Mac and all of its programs, um, there are a lot of limitations. There's a lot of video games you can't play and it is more expensive for a Mac um, for the same amount of power that you're getting. So I wanted to build a really strong PC that I could use for live streaming video games and art. It was a fun little journey. <laughs> And the first thing I got was actually a gift from Steven, which kind of kicked off the whole thing. I wasn't even sure I wanted to commit to this until Steven got me a mechanical keyboard for Christmas. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build everything. And my best friend Natalie actually built her computer alongside mine. We have kind of matching computers. Hers is pink and white and mine is like mint teal and white. So I was looking for mostly white parts that could light up if possible. I know it's more expensive to get a fancy looking computer, but might as well make it nice and pretty <laughs> while I'm doing it. So uh, I'm not gonna sit here and list out all the parts that I got, um, but I'll put them in the description. And if you guys have any questions about anything, um, just comment below. I'll try to answer them or uh, I'm sure other people will try to as well. It's supposedly really hard to get a hold of parts, especially graphics cards and webcams and all that kind of stuff. I got really lucky. Somehow I got a hold of a 3070 graphics card by checking the central computers uh, and they had them inside their store and not online so if you are trying to get a hold of parts try checking like physical stores because most people are ordering their stuff online right now and it's all sold out so um, you might have better luck that way. I went with AMD. I have the Ryzen 9. One thing that was really weird is that I bought this tower before I really learned a lot about building the computer, so it's kind of a weird case. Uh, it's turned on its side, so everything looks kind of funny, and it's pretty small and compact, so it was really difficult to get your hands in there and plug stuff in in the end. I was hunting for a lot of deals for Black Friday. It's like microphones and my monitor, so I ended up getting a Dell monitor from Best Buy for like $100 off, I think. I believe my monitor is 4K, 32 inches and 165 hertz refresh rate, so uh, it's not bad. So the whole time I am gathering up parts for this computer, I am also clearing a space in our apartment for me to put a desk so I can create like a little streaming area for when I start streaming on Twitch. It's a little cramped. We don't have a huge apartment, so I just like stuck it in by my closet and um, trying to make it nice and clean like with plants and lots of lights so I haven't started streaming yet I'm still setting things up and I'll definitely let you guys know as soon as I start streaming because I want to start doing art and I'm also playing a lot of a game called Genshin Impact which I know is funny because I built this crazy computer and it's such a simple game to be playing, but uh, my friends got me addicted to it and it, it's really pretty and I love the character designs. I haven't been this inspired by a game since I used to watch Final Fantasy X when I was a kid. So like I just feel like drawing all of them and yeah, I love it. So I want to start streaming my art and maybe I'll draw fan art. Some other games I want to start playing are Sea of Thieves. I want to play, get back into Overwatch probably. I do want to try out Cyberpunk, maybe when it's a little bit less buggy. 
and I kind of want to try playing Red Dead 2 and No Man's Sky probably. But yeah, if you guys have any game suggestions, uh, let me know below. I'm more into like multiplayer or fast paced games or open world. Steven uh, also got me a set of keys to switch out for my keyboard. So I wanted to show you guys the new BenQ reading lamp that they sent me. I reached out to them because you might remember I talked about them in one of my videos before because they sent me a reading lamp for my desk in the studio. And it's such a nice lamp that I reached out to them and asked if they had anything I could use for my streaming setup. And they were nice enough to send me this screen lamp as well as a floor lamp that I'm going to be using for my painting area. So this lamp just hooks right up on top of your monitor and it has a weight on the back so it kind of just rests on top. And there's a controller that comes down and it has the same temperature control as the other lamp so you can go from a very bluish fluorescent white color to a nice warm yellowish reading lamp kind of color. It might be hard to see, but you can tell in the video that the temperature of the light is changing. You can also dim it and adjust the brightness from this controller. So it's really, really nice quality and I am in love with all of their lamps. They're not paying me to say any of this. I just really wanted to promote them because I love their products so much. So um, if you're interested, there are links for this in the description as well. So once we got it all built, I purchased the Windows operating system and got everything running. I started playing around with the desktop wallpaper engine thing on Steam. They have really cool um, like animated wallpapers and stuff. So that was fun. I also downloaded the game Calico, which is super cute. The cats actually really love staring into my computer case. Uh, I set up right next to where they lay in front of the window, so it's like I'm hanging out with them all the time. I think they like it. I've also been testing out a lot of other things like my mouse. I got two different ones and tried it out. So I ended up with the Corsair one. It's a lot quieter and has a lot more options. It's also nicer feeling, like uh, it's a little bit heavier. So the Logitech one I'll probably be returning. And I also just got a office chair. I've been sitting on a little ottoman for a couple weeks now and 
My lower back has been killing me, so I'm glad I finally got an office chair. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of like a quick vlog so far of January and I know I didn't really go into detail about the computer, but um, really if you have any questions just let me know below. I am planning on making a Discord server so we can all hang out. I think that would be really fun um, and I'll probably host about it uh, as soon as I do here on YouTube and probably Instagram and Twitter. So keep an eye out for those. So I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you don't know what Squarespace is, they are an online website building platform. You can do everything in one place on your website. It's so useful. I've been using them for years now. I believe I built my first website with Squarespace in 2017, so it's been a while already. On Squarespace, you can do everything on your website. You can purchase a domain right there and even have an online store all in one place. What I love about Squarespace is that they really cater towards artists. What I love about Squarespace is that they really cater to artists. So a lot of the templates work so well with having online galleries and slideshows and everything like that. They're so easy to set up. You just plug your information in and it looks beautiful right away. The best part is you can upload your photos right from your social media and edit them within Squarespace instead of having to save all these crazy files on your desktop and of all different sizes. That's one of the most tiring things about creating an online gallery usually. But with Squarespace you can do it all on their platform and it's so much easier. I set up my online store with my website on Squarespace. That's by far the best decision I've made with my business. It's so much easier to have them all together. And my favorite part is that Squarespace integrates with shipping programs. So when I fulfill an order and mark it as shipped, it's all done. All of the emailing and the tracking info is all done for me. And I don't even have to worry about emailing the customer at all. It's so helpful. So if you want to try out Squarespace, they have a free trial. And if you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. There's going to be more info in the description and links for you to try it out.
Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know the flash was on. Well, now you know. <laughs> he doesn't even.